Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the 2024 golf season. Today, for the first episode, I'm out at a par three course and I'm trying to make some peace with my irons. Get that done now rather than getting that done in the middle of competitive season. The par three course I'm playing is relatively challenging. Four of the par threes are over 200 yards and a handful of them are also in that 170 to 190 range, so a lot of long iron shots today. Yeah, so it's gonna be a good time. Target score is 33 with no double bogeys. So let's see if I can meet that. Hey, I've got a bunch of other stuff to catch you up on. Golf swing changes that I made over the winter, short game regimens that I'm working on. So definitely stay tuned for that in the video. Enjoy this uh, little par three round out here at Rib Mountain. I ended up being almost perfectly pin high here. So this is what been one of my big focuses in the early season is the uh, the chipping game. I'm really just working on contact control because I've been hitting it fat way, way too much. So I have a gap here. Try to get this within six feet. I mean, relatively easy chip. Should break a little bit to the left. Yeah, I've just murdered it. Hang on. Yeah, way, way too much power there. Okay, so this appears to be about 12 feet back up the hill and it's gonna break to the right, but kind of about maybe eight inches out to the left. Oh, get up there. All right. All right, bogey one start there. Hey, I'm happy with how I hit that four iron to start things out. Iron contact, long iron contact especially, big emphasis this off season. We're gonna need to play our long irons just better than we did last year if we're gonna meet that target handicap of 5.0 or less, so. Yeah, so we haven't talked about that, have we? All right, well, we've got a bunch of goals we're gonna get into here as we get through the video. First off, hole two, par three, of course. Uh, looks to be about 125. We'll gun it and then let's see what we got. Just gunned it at 126, pin stored this the front. There's a sand trap on the right, which we'd like to avoid, of course. Should be a straight up pitching wedge for me. Being a little short here, it's probably better than being long as the green slopes from back to the front, it'd be downhill. So we put it on the front, we would leave ourselves with an uphill putt. Looks good, looks real good. Okay, ended up being a, a shade short, just on the front, but uh, should be able to get up and down from there. Looking at it from here, it looks like it should curve uh, maybe six inches to the left at most. So we're gonna play this out to the right just a little bit and uh, we'll step it off once, one, two, three, four, five, six. I, I don't think that's 18 feet. Maybe my steps are shorter since I've gained 20 pounds, but I'm gonna call 15 feet up the hill. Well, I drilled that for sure. Hit that first one poorly. Now it's time to make a short one. It's downhill. Might slide off to the right just a little bit. Oh man, hole three. 195 to the stick, there's water out on the right and short of the green. Got a four iron here. Let's see if we can maybe get our second green and reg. First two approach shots have been nice. Let's see if we can put a good swing on one here. That is significantly pulled. All right guys, so in this video I promised I would give you all of my goals for the 2024 season. And there's many of them, and there's many of them that will measure my progress against as we go through the episodes later in the season. But all right, let's get to it. Goal number one is to qualify for one of the three Wisconsin State Amateur Championships. So there's a state match play championship, which I attempted to qualify for last year and failed. There is the Wisconsin State Amateur Stroke Play Championship, which I attempted to qualify for last year and failed. And then there's the Suter Ward Wisconsin State 
Open. Suter Ward, I think, is like an insurance company or something. I don't know, but it's the Wisconsin State Open, which I tried to qualify for last year and failed. So the, so the goal for this year is to qualify for one out of three of those tournaments. Goal number two is to return to the VGA nat, uh, Regional Championships. I almost said National VGA Regional Championships in Indiana. So last year, we didn't cover this on the channel because I just didn't really have the right type of camera to film it while playing. I was successfully, I won the Wisconsin Sea Flight State Championship for Veterans Golf Association. Something that I'm definitely really proud of. By doing that, I earned a spot at the regional championship. My goal this year is to do that in B flight. So in order to qualify for the regional championship, you have to finish, usually it's first or second at the regional championship. However, last year they took the top three. So that's the goal. Last year I shot an 80 to win the state championship in Sea Flight, actually out in Green Bay at Thornberry Creek is the name of the course. That's goal number two. All right, let's hit this chip shot. And then once we get off the screen, I'll talk more about my goals for 2024 here in a moment. I'm straight up pin high off to the left. So I'm really happy with the distance that I'm generating so far. However, this pitch shot is a nightmare. Tricky spot. I'm about probably 30 yards to the stick and laying against the grain. So we're gonna try to hit one high and just to the left of the flag and hope that we can keep it on the green. Go, go. So we left it out a little further right than we wanted to. You can just see how much the ball kicked when it landed. Uh, let's see if we get two putt for a four from there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, half. Yeah, and it looks to be probably in that 20 to 25 feet range uphill. Gonna break left to right. Come on, come on. We started off with three fours in a row, and that's okay. So, the chipping. Goal number three is to achieve a short game index score of 2.6 or less, 2.6 or less. So how is the short game index score calculated? Well, let me tell you, cause I'm the son of a bitch who made it up. The short game index score is a calculation of your average total strokes inside of 50 yards. If you're pulling a par three and you're 100 yards away and you landed on the green, that first putt is going to be your first shot inside of 50 yards. You two putt, your stroke hole average is two. The next one, you hit your second shot inside of 45 yards. Then you hit your third shot from inside of 45 yards onto the green and two putt your short game index for that hole is three. So now for the round, your short game index is 2.5. So I've thought a lot about this calculation and how it really measures your game from 150 yards and in. Because if you are a good player from 150 yards to 50 yards, you're gonna hit a lot of shots inside of that 30, 40 foot range where you're generally gonna get in from two strokes and that's going to help you keep that short game index lower. But of course it's measuring what's happening inside of 50 yards as well. If you have a lot of shots at that 30, 40, 50 yard range and you're having a hard time getting down in three and sometimes getting, getting up and down around four, that's gonna crank that number real high. So initially I was gonna set my index at 2.5. I, I ended up moving it to 2.6 to give myself a little bit of grace, but that is my third goal for 2023. And we will be tracking that throughout the year and assessing how I'm performing against that measurement. Here we go, hole four, long par three, probably about 250. Let's see if we can make a par here. Okay, so it's about 245. I'm tempted to go with the driver and just let it eat. It's only 50 degrees out here today. So it's not, it's not super warm. But uh, I'm just feeling like a three wood is a safer shot. So we can roll this up short and uh, perhaps get up and down. So over the last six holes here, we're gonna, we're gonna calculate my 
short game index score and see how I do against those measurements I was just talking about. It's definitely short, uh, probably, but probably inside of 50 yards. All right, so gold number four. You, you guys are about to see there's a lot of these. Okay, number four, bring my handicap to 5.0 or lower. So if you're new to the channel, which is just about everybody, five years ago, my handicap was around 15, and it was around 15 for like the 25 years preceding that. It was probably around 2018, 2019 that I really started focusing on improving my game. I actually think it was 2019. So this would be the fifth year. And so over that time, I watched my handicap essentially go from 15 to 11, 11 to eight. And then last year went from 8.1 to 7.9. So I plateaued. So in me making that goal of getting that handicap down to 5.0 or less, it's super aggressive. I mean, if I ended the year and I'm still trending in the right direction, hell, I mean, I think that's a cause for celebration in itself. Anytime that you're improving at golf, that's a good thing. But 5.0, pretty aggressive. But then I kind of look at it from another angle and I think, well, that's only three shots per hole. That's not that much. So of course I ended up in the muddiest part of the golf course, right over here, ball's right in there. Yeah, so we're gonna move that here. Long story short, goal number four, get that handicap index under 5.0. All right, so just got the gun out, 38 yards. So this is our first shot within 50, first shot, which we're calculating in our uh, short game index. 38 yards, got a sandwich, got some kids wandering around behind the green. We're gonna give them a minute. Okay, it's a shade lob, but I think it's inside of 10 feet. So let's see if we can get it. So this is about eight feet, but it's straight downhill. We are just gonna give this a love tap to get it started. Hope we find the center. Ho, ho, ho. That's a great par, 245 yard par, three. Take those all day. Okay, so the idiots that are playing in front of me either forgot to put the flag in or they took it with them. I have no idea what my yardage is, but I'm gonna guess it's about 220. Got us hitting off these mats here. I'm just gonna try to drill a three iron out there. Dude, I mean, this mat's so uneven. Okay, wish me luck here, folks. This could turn out really bad. Second shot here. I guess I'm about 130, but I still don't know because there's still no flag in the green. We're gonna just try to punch this low. Somewhere near the green. Cut, cut, cut. All right, short left, we're gonna have to go up and down. Goal number six, 50% greens in regulation. I think I was close last year. I'd be really disappointed if I didn't get that one this year. So goal number six, 50% greens in regulation. That might be goal number five. I'm not even sure now. Oh man. So we got the flag put back in. I'm gonna say we're, we're all of 30 yards here. Uphill, probably wanna keep it below the hole. Of course, there's not that much green behind where the flag stick is. The, the camera is basically sitting right on the fringe. Oh, sit down, baby. Yeah, that wasn't great. Probably just over 20 feet or close to 20 feet. It's gonna break left to right, maybe about a foot. Turn. Wow. But we're in for five. All right, discouraging, super dumb. Wanna avoid the double bogey thing, of course. Failed to do that, 
but uh, we got four to play. Let's see if we can make a, at least three out of four pars here on the way out. I think I'd be satisfied with, and we'd still meet that target score of 33. All right, so hole six is playing 154. I've got an eight iron. May have to just take a smidge off this. Got to be careful because it's super muddy here. Geez, really out to the right. It's pounded right into the trap on the fly. Not great. All right, guys, so goal number six. Or at seven, I'm not entirely sure at this point, but so that next goal is to break 75 in one round this season. It seems kind of strange to me because I think I'm good enough to do it and I think I play well enough to do it at this time, but I've never shot a 75 in my life or better. The lowest I've ever shot for 18 was 77. And I've do now done that three times, one of which times was last year. So this goal, the, you know, the breaking 75, it goes hand in hand with getting that handicap lower than five. We're going to get the handicap that low. We're going to have to post some rounds in the lower half of the 70s this season. That's just the reality. I'm not consistent enough to shoot a 77, 78 all the time. We're going to need some lower rounds. So yeah, that next goal, let's see if we can get it under 75 once this year. All right, so down we go into the bunker. Yeah, ended up being almost perfectly pin high again. That was with an eight iron from 153. The lie here actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna remove one rock that's right behind the ball. Otherwise, not too bad. I'm about just over 20 yards away. Sand's pretty soft. Let's try to get this one in there close. Yeah, that was terrible. I'm not even quite sure what just happened there. That's equally as ridiculous. So bogey it is then, huh? Okay. All right, so it looks like I'm about 175. I gunned it. I was having a hard time picking up the flag. However, gonna go with the five. See if we can knock one on. So far, green's in regulation. It's not good. Yeah. It's like, it's like our contact is is nice, but our direction is not nice at all. All right, goal number eight, or whatever number we're actually on, of course, is gonna be focused around putting, and my target number is 32 putts per round or below. I think last year my average was right about 33.0. Can't remember exactly, I do have the stats somewhere on my phone. If I do have them, I'll put those up for you right here, right now. Probably as well as some of the iron stats and whatnot from last year, but we need to get it into the hole quicker than we have in the past. We're gonna meet that handicap score. And I'm basically banking that. I can cut my overall putts down by two this year, get it down to that 31 range. And that's gonna really help me from the handicap standpoint. It means I'm going up and down more, which is probably the most important stats regarding your putting percentage. How close are you to the hole on the green when you're hitting that first putt, right? If you're doing better with your wedges, managing your short game better coming into the green, you're gonna have fewer putts per round. So I think that while I'm viewing it as a putting statistic, of course, I'm really viewing it as how close can I get to the hole from that last shot being off the, off the green. And that again comes back to why we're measuring the short game index. All right, so I'm gonna get toe down here a little bit. Tricky, because I don't have a lot of green to work with. Run. The club really stuck there. So I know that didn't look the best. But basically the equivalent of hitting it um, against the grain. There just like was no turf there. So I've got a chance here to save par, which we absolutely need to make it if we're gonna hit our target score of 33. Kind of starts getting downhill the last foot or two. It's gonna break about six inches to the left it appears. About nine feet away here. Come on. Hey, all right, happy with the par on seven. Let's talk about the next goal, and it's a big goal for me. It's to not embarrass myself with anger or my behavior or anything like that for the duration of the season. So no meltdowns, no blow ups, no broken clubs, no slamming the club into the ground, firing off a curse word. When things aren't going well, it's easy to get mad. You, you know, you invest a lot of time, energy, effort, willpower into the game. But especially this year, I don't want to let my emotions become bigger than the game itself. So definitely hoping something that we can achieve, probably my easiest goal to achieve this year, 
to be perfectly honest, but it's also probably one of the most important. So no major blowups the whole 2024 season. I can do this. Let's book it. All right, looks to be about 210. Can't tell for sure. I'm going to go three hybrid here. Take a little off. Yeah, so I didn't hit that particularly good. As you can tell, kind of a loopy slicer, super short. I mean, I think I maybe hit it 175. Just some weak sauce there. But hey, let's see if we can maybe go up and down again. I have hit some pretty nice chip shots today, which I'm happy about. Let's see if we can hit one more good chip shot here and hopefully give us a chance to par the last hole and then meet our target score of 33. That would be sweet for sure. All right, so here we go, 32 yards. I'm gonna get this kind of high. The green does kind of slope there is a risk of having it fall off the back of the green uh, if you if you go right of the pin. So what we can do to pitch this one close. Yeah, it just didn't quite hit it hard enough. Basically looking at about 15 feet here. It looks like it's almost perfectly straight to be honest. Might slide left to right a smidge. Okay, so pretty much straight on there, 15 feet. Let's see if we can send this home. Oh, it did break a little bit to the right at the end. Okay, so when you think you film for like five minutes and you actually weren't filming at all, really, really dumb. Now that we got that out of the way, if you haven't got out yet this year, and if you have a local par three course available to you or someplace where you can really work on the short game, take advantage of that. Hit your wedges, hit chip shots, practice chipping from anything from a bump and run to a high flop, use different clubs, try these things out before we get to the competitive part of the season where it's too late to be testing things out. If you've went through a swing change this year, like I have, this is the perfect time to validate that swing change out on the course. That's another reason why I really recommend that is if you're gonna, if you're gonna score this year, you're gonna score with better iron play and better short game and hopefully a little bit better off the tee, but it's really 100 yards and in that makes a difference. And that's why getting out and practicing on these par three courses is so valuable early in the year. All right, so I also have an opportunity here while we're waiting to talk about my swing change. So this year I have changed my grip I've switched from an interlock grip to an overlap grip. Additionally, I'm working on getting my left hand in a little bit more of a weaker position to where you can't see my thumb. And then lastly, I've been using a training aid called the hanger to try to flat out my left wrist and help me shallow with the club a little bit. So I don't, when I watch my swing videos from last year to this year, so far I'm not noticing a major difference. What I will say is uh, I'm confident that it's gonna help me get more consistent. All right, 250, we're gonna go driver here. See if we can pound one on there. Oh! All right, so I had that teed up really low. Kinda wanted to hit a low screamer in there and let it trickle up, but obviously failed to get that one in the air. Not a huge deal. See if we can go up and down one more time. Uh, hit one in close here. It looks like the group of fr in front of me left a ball on the green. It's right by the hole for some reason, but who knows what that's about. So at the end of the video, I'm also gonna show you what my short game index average ended up being for this round. I'm guessing I'm probably in the 2.7 to 2.8 range if I were to go up and down here that would probably help. So we'll see where that ends up being. Yeah, just as always, thanks for watching. See if we can go up and down here from about uh, 30 some yards again. All right, so I ended up with 29 here. I am essentially aiming for that ball that the uh, group in front of me left on the green and hoping it just slides right towards the hole. I have no, no explanation for that. There's just absolutely no excuse for that. That issue continues to plague me and it's always in the back of my head. Okay. I don't know. 
So that little issue is haunting me from the end of last year and it has not gone away and I don't have an explanation for it. All right, we'll, we'll call this putt for five and it's our, uh, it's our fourth inside of 50 yards. So the short game index average gonna take a hit here. Such is life. All right, guys, disappointing finish, but thank you guys so much for watching. Get out there, work on that short game. Get out there, work on improving that iron game before we get into the, uh, the meat of the 2024 season.